But we got Jimmy Johnson in with us. Take a look at the coaching staffs around the league and tell us which ones should resolve to do better next year and which ones did a good job this season. Yeah, it occurred when we looked at the different coaching staffs, you know, throughout the league, you know, we were looking at expectations, talent, and injuries to a degree. And, but the good coaches, they overcame the injuries with some of their backups and the way they adjusted. You look at, you know, the, the good ones, it was tough to find, but the – Difficult, the hard ones, the bad jobs. Tampa, 34 turnovers. You can't win. Jacksonville, they were supposed to win the Super Bowl. Six wins. Atlanta, I know they had a lot of, a lot of injuries, but Oakland, they got rid of two of the best players in the league. That's why you're on the list. Denver, second year in a row with a losing season. That's why you're on the list. Who did well? Well, a bunch of them. Indy and Houston could be on this list, but look at the Bears. Vic Fangio did a great job with that defense. Hey, they could win it all. Pete Carroll may have won, uh, you know, coach of the year. He did the best job, that I think, any time he's been there. You know, only 10 turnovers for the entire year. Saints, everybody says Breeze, you know, getting close to 40 years old. It's their defense that put them up here. Baltimore, John Harbaugh completely changed his offense for this rookie quarterback, Lamar Jackson. Great job. And the Chargers, watch out. They could be the team that could go from a wild card to winning it all. Well, I guarantee you the five head coaches on that list are not on Jay Glazer's list. Jay's here to tell us who is in and out as far as the coaching searches right. go well, starting look, tomorrow. We're going to start with who I believe is going to be out. And there's already seven coaches here who we're pretty sure about. Todd Bowles, he's out with the Jets. They want somebody who's going to be able to mold Sam Darnold. Greg Williams, TB, Jimmy, you guys talked about him earlier. He still has not done enough yet to lock that job up. They've been doing a lot of back channels, interview, uh, uh, information about other candidates. They want to bring other guys in and really widen that search. He still has to go in and win that job. Marvin Lewis wasn't supposed to come back last year. The owner convinced him with a two-year contract, but it looks like this will be his last year with Cincinnati. Vance Joseph looks like he's out there in Denver. John o still is even talking about bringing Gary Kubiak back just as offensive coordinator. Joe Phil where do you know he's out? They actually may go to Pat Fitzgerald, who is a college coach, to bring him in for an interview, even though they've had two interviews this week. Dirk Cutter out there with the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers always like to try and make a splash with their coach. Even last year, and people don't know this, they dabbled with Jim Harbaugh a little bit. They're going to try and make a splash with that opening. And Steve Wilkes, he'll be one and done here with the Cardinals. Let's go now to who is in. Mike Tomlin, you guys talk about the Steelers. Hey, look, you got to look at the whole body of work. Like Mike Strahan said earlier, they've had a very odd year. I do believe Tomlin's in. Jay Gruden, he's not the issue there. So many other problems there. Ron Rivera, there's been chatter there. I think he's good. And Dan Quinn, he's back, but he'll make some changes there on his staff. Pat Patricia, also good in Detroit. And then time will tell. Okay, we're going to start down here. Doug Marone, Jimmy just talked about him. Got to see what happens there. Adam Gase, he's a wild card. I do think that these owners get very emotional. It depends what happens today. If he He's out. He'll be a very hot candidate. And then John Harbaugh. Guys, this is really the wild card of all of it. Even though the Baltimore Ravens said, oh, he's going to be back next year. They tried to work out a contract this week. Didn't happen. There are teams right now that are having internal discussions about calling the Ravens to try to trade for John Harbaugh. If they could pull that off, that really puts the whole thing in flux. All right, so you've already said there's seven head coaching openings right. that will be out there, maybe nine or ten. Uh, who are some of the guys who are the candidates to replace him? Well, I'm not going to really go into the college guys, just guys in the NFL right now. We're looking for these offensive assistants. Josh McDaniels, even though he jilted the Colts last year, the Packers, he's been very heavily linked to them. Everybody wants it next, Sean McVay or Matt Nagy. Zach Taylor. You may not know him. He's the quarterback coach for the Rams. His name is really picking up a lot of steam this week, and Sean McVay's really been pumping him up. Eric Bieniemy, he is the guy who replaced Nagy down there with Kansas City, does a great job with Andy Reid. Todd Munkin, even though they're going to be out there, the head coach is going to be out, his name is starting to be big. He's the offensive coordinator with the Buccaneers. Defensive assistants, you want a guy, Vic Fangio is an older guy, but you want to bring an attitude in, you go for a guy like that. Brian Flores had some interviews last year. He is with the uh, Patriots right now. And former head coach, coaches. Jim Caldwell, Chuck Pagano already interviewed for the Packers head coaching job this week. Mike McCarthy is going to line up interviews this week as well. And Adam Gase, like I said earlier, if he is out, he will skyrocket to the top of a lot of lists.